we went to the computer and we did all kind of uh, research investigations. Nothing on Lucid at first. And then we began to get some data on it. Let me tell you a little bit about, uh, about this system. What it is, is the linking together of all computer databases and data banks throughout the world into one. Sort of a beast computer system. Now, the headquarters of the beast, I believe, is at the National Security Agency complex at Fort Meade, Maryland. What I, what I have found out since then in my investigations, and all of this, of course, is in my book, Project Lucid, is that this gargantuan facility, I have a picture of, uh, of the facility itself, the NSA, National Security Agency at Fort Meade, heavily guarded army base there, and it is the second largest government building in the world. Only the Pentagon, they say, is larger. And I'm not sure of that. That's what they say, at least. Now, the NSA is a super secret agency. We're going to talk more about that in just a minute. But these are the folks who invented the supercomputer and organized, funded, and put together the World Wide Web, the Internet working with corporate uh, and other government uh, agencies and educational organizations as well. The National Security Agency. We'll discuss that more in just a moment. Let me tell you what Dr. Crusoe, and I like that name. Sounds very mysterious, Dr. Jean-Paul Crusoe. Sort of like a Peter Sellers movie name, you know? <laughs> you, you know, you, when you say Dr. Crusoe, you think of a pink panther, you know? crawling around. Well, and the amazing thing is, I found that Dr. Crusoe is from France. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Jean-Paul Crusoe is a medical doctor and a computer scientist from France. He is on the staff of Interpol, the international crime fighting organization. And according to his resume and his, and the documentation I have, he is the, the, representative to the United Nations, UNESCO, the, the most wicked and devious of all UN agencies. He is the representative uh, to the United Nations, uh, representative of the International Narcotic Enforcement Officers Association. You might be asking yourself, what is a Frenchman, a medical doctor, and a computer scientist on the staff of Interpol in Paris, France, a representative to the United Nations doing in New York City, working with the president of some corporation, being funded by the Defense Department of the National Security Agency and the CIA, putting together this incredible global computer network. Isn't that strange? I mean, if you didn't believe in a new world order, that alone would cause you to have pause, wouldn't it? It's, it's really quite interesting. Now, I wanted to know what lucid meant. I did notice what the article said and some other facts about it. It says Lucid is a, quote, universal information identification system. Let me repeat that. A universal information identification system. Now, I also found that in this uh, magazine, there is a chart. And it's just a quick description of what Lucid is all about. Now, the interesting thing about this chart, it says Lucid System at the top. And at the bottom, it says a universal information identification system, parentheses, Lucid Net. I noticed that the chart starts at the bottom with a nice typical family. Because after all, these people believe in family values. <laughs> right? And there is a, these are like silhouettes, you know how they do in diagrams and charts. There's a, a mom and a dad and a little boy and a little girl. And underneath, in small letters, it says, Individuals, Universal Biometrics Card. Now, we're going to look at what exactly that's all about in a moment. Now, by the way, there are arrows from the family. And in fact, right in the middle of the chart, it says Lucid Net. The Lucid Net. Now, the arrows not only connect the family, but connect the family with everything from the international criminal justice system 
did you know you were going to come under the international criminal justice system to the national justice system? And, of course, there's Capitol Hill, uh, you know, all of the regulators and agencies of government. And, by the way, I found uh, in the article here, they say that this will go into place no later than the year 2000. Everyone will receive their universal biometrics card. Let's just call it UBC. It'll connect you with this beast 666 human control system. That's what I call it. Because the Bible said these things would take place. The Bible said a system of control would be set up so that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name or the number of the beast. Now, the interesting thing is this is a universal system. Well, what are we doing paying for it here in America? Why do we care if five and a half billion people on this planet all have a universal biometrics ID card? And why they're linked in with the KGB and Russia and the FBI and the CIA and Interpol and Europol and the Israeli Mossad and the French intelligence agencies and all of the banking systems throughout the world and all of the educational organizations and all of the hospitals and the medical doctors. I could keep going. All of the databases throughout the world as one. Now, with the Internet, you see, you not only have the giant supercomputers at the National Security Headquarters, and, it, and I'll talk about that in a moment, the National Identification Center that you probably didn't know exists but does, and at the National Reconnaissance Office, which you probably didn't know exists but does. But there are these giant computer banks connected to the NSA over in Australia and in Great Britain, and in Brussels, Belgium, and in Paris, and out of Tokyo, and on and on. They've spent billions of dollars setting up the what they call the critical information infrastructure. Critical information infrastructure. You'll be hearing about that in newspapers very, very soon. President Clinton just signed an executive order setting up a cyber counter-terrorist security group to come up with ways to protect the World Wide Web. He calls it in his executive order the critical information infrastructure. Well, the money for these people comes from, I found out, the Defense Department's budget, part of it, but it's the black budget, part of it, that goes to the National Security Agency. Evidently, We've been spending billions of dollars for a Star Wars system. Remember that? And a organization called the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has gotten a lot of that money. And evidently they funneled some numbers of millions of dollars to Project Lucid. To Project Lucid. This control system. Now let's go back to the meaning of the acronym Lucid. Wanting to find out what it meant, I decided just to call up Dr. Hilaris. <laughs> Why not go to the source? So we did. We tracked Dr. Hilaris down. And, you know, he wouldn't talk to us. He wasn't very nice. No. He said he would not tell us what Lucid meant, but we could find out per perhaps if we talked directly to Dr. Jean-Paul Crusoe. <laughs> so we called up Dr. Jean-Paul Crusoe. Well, he wouldn't talk to us either, but his secretary, Ms. Crusuto, Crusita Ramos, told us that she didn't know what Lucid meant. She does it just because the whole organization, you know, is working on this project. She really doesn't know what the letters mean. <laughs> but she said I could talk to Dr. Bernardo Lamb, who is the chief research assistant with this Dr. Crusoe. Now, I'm leading you on this little investigative trail with me, so sort of follow with me, okay? you don't mind, just for a few moments. Dr. Lamb did tell me some interesting things. He confirmed, of course, that Dr. Crusoe is with Interpol over in Europe. And I said, well, what's he doing here? Well, he's work working on some projects. I also found out that he's working not only with American computer scientists and medical doctors, but with British in New York City. And not only Advanced Technologies Group is uh, involved, but other uh, corporations, such as a Burke Meyer Software and, and others, and of course, 
eventually, as we're going to see, Lucent Technologies, Microsoft, Oracle, and some really top-level corporations are involved in this because there's money. Imagine five and a half billion people